Most of us see paper purely as a surface on which other things appear, or as a wrapping in which things can disappear. For artist and designer Lavanya Naidu, it's an object of passion, as she explained to Krishma. Instant solutions don't figure much in designer Lavanya Naidu's approach to art or life. And the medium in which she works doesn't lend itself to a hurried approach. Her creations demand that each element be crafted with love, patience and care, meticulously assembled to convey a message that says far more than the simple meaning of the words or images. Karishma went to visit Lavanya at her Cape Town studio. Lavanya Naidu is one of those rare gems who can magically transform a seemingly mundane item into a masterpiece. And I cannot wait to find out how she does it. Lavanya began her career in the Durban office of a major advertising agency before moving into the corporate world as a designer and art director. Even though her day job kept her very busy, she found time to rediscover her love of paper art. Hi, good luck. Yeah, good. Welcome to Mela. Thank you. This looks like such a colorful workstation. <laughs> Can you tell me exactly what is quilling? It's a paper art form that is basically 3D illustration. So it's just creating another dimension to a normal flat form of illustration. And it's a pretty old technique. I've introduced more of a design style to traditional quilling which has allowed it to become a bit more contemporary and appealing to the mass market. How did this form of art grab your attention? I have a design background which can be very flat and on the computer and digital and I really love tactile work. If you look at it from different angles you see different things. Lavanya, how does one go about learning to quilt? Well, I can show you. I would love that, yay! So this I've already laid out flat colors, which isn't the actual quilling, but it's part of paper art. And then what I'm going to teach you is quilling. Okay. So take me through it from the beginning. What are all of these tools that we're using? This is your standard cutter, okay. craft knife. This is actually sewing scissors. Okay. This is a quilling tool. Okay. So it's a needle, Point, not as sharp and you use it to curl wow, it okay and then you can coil your paper around it okay and then I use a cutting mat so that I don't damage the furniture and this is a light pad and it basically makes it easy to work over outline so I don't have to actually draw onto the paper and then work over it. It's very neat. I don't have to erase any pencil lines afterwards. And then I obviously have my pre-cut strips of paper and my lots and lots of colored paper. So what next? Now we're going to take these little white strips of paper and okay. stick it onto the page. Okay. So what you're going to need to do first is measure out what you need. Lavanya, I just have to say, it seems like it requires a lot of patience to do what you do. I don't naturally possess a lot of patience. I'm a very impatient person. I want things to happen quickly. So I had taken this on as a hobby to try to slow myself down a bit. And I've managed to turn it into a business. So you're going to lightly dip the bottom edge into the glue. Okay. And now you are going to outline that petal. So when I put the, the bent part at the bottom. So yeah, that will be on that corner. This is actually really difficult and quite and so intricate. I mean, I knew it would be, but wow. <laughs> You're doing a very good job for someone who's never done this before. <laughs> okay, so there we go. One petal done. It could be a little bit neater. Traditionally, quilling is usually a set of different shapes. And how long does it take you to complete a piece? It's very time consuming, so something like this, depending on how intricate I want it to be, can take maybe five hours. So we should get cracking then. <laughs> Could you take me through some of the basic shapes? They're all based on the same thing, so you can just coil a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. You stick it down with glue, like nice little pretty shapes. Levanya, can I give it a try? Go for it. Okay. So take one of these yep, and then just start doing this. So then you keep on rolling like this. And, and then you're going to cut it. Okay. Yep. And glue 
the end down and then you can bend it into whatever shape you want. Okay, and then and then place it in the middle. Perfect. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope to achieve with your pieces? I do a lot of commissions and I plan on putting an exhibition together as well. I also want to start putting together workshops where people can learn about quilling. What have been some of your highlights thus far? I've worked on some really lovely projects, some NGOs and some big corporates, some history and arts books and working on covers for those, posters. Just the fact that big industries and big companies are now seeing this as a way to communicate whatever they want to do. It, that's a big highlight, just knowing that people are suddenly aware. Devanya, where do you draw inspiration from? My biggest source of inspiration is obviously the design world. My other source of inspiration is nature. So I often like to go out and take photos of flowers. So I'm actually going for a walk in Takai Forest now, if you want to join me. Let's go draw some inspiration. There's so much more to Lavanya's art than simply cutting, folding and pasting paper. With her strong eye for composition and colour combined with a funky sense of fun shining through the individual pieces. Oh wow, these look interesting. Look at those. Yeah, they're really pretty. Let's take a photo of it. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I think there's some more over there. Should we go? Yeah. Lavania, how does this mass of inspiration turn into an actual art piece? Is it the textures or the shapes or do you draw from the emotion of being here? It's both of those things. So walking in nature and feeling the energy, but also spotting like the bark on the tree and being inspired by it and then wanting to implement that into a design that becomes a quilling piece. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Hopefully still running my own business and inspiring young creative people to get into this industry. 